Hello, it's me again. Thank you for joining me on this lovely rainy Miami day. I'm sure you can hear it in the background and I'm joined by my lovely cats. So let's talk about realistic work from home outfits. Mine. God, I swear if I get another email from a brand saying the work from home edit that consists of trousers and a blazer, I'm going to lose my mind because there is no way I'm going to wear my nice blazers while I'm working from home with two cats and a dog. I would be covered in cat hair and dog hair. So that's just not realistic for me and I'm sure a lot of you ladies who are currently either working from home due to corona times or you just work from home and work remotely on the daily even before this whole pandemic hit it's kind of hard to find that balance where you feel put together but you don't want to feel too put together and then you want to be comfy but you also don't want to be in sweatpants all day or is that just me <laughs> <laughs> For me, I mentioned it in my work from home tip video that I feel a boost of energy and confidence when I actually dress up. I will be just feeling lazy and wanting to lounge around if I'm just wearing leggings or sweatpants and a t-shirt all day. Plus, if you have to be on Zoom calls and video calls, with um, other people from your team or from your boss. Like you do wanna look a little bit presentable at least from like here up. <laughs> so I'm gonna share a couple of relatable, realistic and comfortable work from home outfits um, with you all. So I'm gonna divide it up by sections. Something that I've noticed in the work from home videos that I've watched are that everybody shows an outfit with shoes as well which is mind boggling to me because I don't wear <laughs> shoes when I'm at home. Um, I just don't want to get the floor any dirtier than it already is. And trust me, it's always dirty when you have three pets. So I will include some shoes with my outfits for those of you who do want to wear shoes at home. You, do you wear shoes at home too? So let's get this started and warning, I will be talking during this one. Not sorry. <laughs> so kicking it off with one of my go-to outfits of every week is a pair of stretchy denim shorts with a linen button-up top. I love these types of tops because they're airy, they're loose, they're comfortable. I love wearing them for work. Here's another button up option. This one is not linen, but it's a loose fitted pinstriped button up top. I love wearing this one too with some jean shorts. Again, comfy, loose and airy, which is nice for the summer. Oh look, it's a mock neck top. Is anybody surprised? <laughs> I'm not. Side note, this is not going to be the only mock neck or turtleneck in this video. I love monochrome looks, so to me this looks super chic. I would wear this out to be honest. It's a high-waisted, loose-fitted Bermuda with a matching beige sleeveless mock neck top. I love it. And for those of you who may not be as obsessed with mock necks or turtlenecks as much as I am, you could always pair um, a pair of wide leg shorts with a drapey loose blouse or tee. This one is from Uniqlo and it's 100% polyester, but you could also find something similar in satin, which would look really nice. And this next number is another pair of Bermudas, which I'm kind of obsessed with, as you can tell, and a cropped cardigan. I love cardigans because I think they're chic and they're comfortable. 
so I think this looks very put together while still being comfy and you can always throw a blazer on top if you need to for a meeting. And if the other pairs of shorts weren't formal enough for you, here you go. <laughs> I love these knee length shorts. I find them very chic, super fancy. I wish I could wear these to the office, to be honest. And I paired them with a semi sheer button up top, which is actually pretty long. It's a long line top, as you can see me struggling, trying to get it out. So you can either wear it tucked in or loose and unbuttoned for a more effortlessly chic look. So this first dress is ridiculously comfortable. It's a stretchy knit sheath dress. I got it at Target a while back, but I love how comfortable it is. And as you can see, it looks really cute with the blazer on as well and it looks pretty put together i would wear this to the office too i'm not even kidding i wear this ensemble at least once a week <laughs> and i just noticed that there's a stain on the front so that just shows you that i do actually wear this frequently it's so comfortable. It's a ribbed knit uh, midi dress. And of course, I love my monochrome, so I paired it with a long, loose cardigan. And oh, it's so comfortable, guys. This is another one I actually used to wear to the office as well. It's a tie waist midi dress. As you can see, it's loose, it's comfortable and flowy. You can find this type of dress in so many colors and patterns online, guys. Just search tie waist midi dress. Again, it's effortlessly chic while also staying very comfortable. Okay, as somebody who does not wear a lot of bold or colorful patterns, this dress is probably one of the boldest I own. I'm not even kidding. So some of you may be like, eh, that's a little too colorful for me. But you can also find this type of dress in plain colors or simple patterns. It's a loose fitted button up shirt dress and I love it. Whenever I wear it, I always get a lot of compliments, even through Zoom. And if it's starting to get a little chilly or you just have your AC blasting, let me suggest this comfortable sweater dress. And of course, it has a turtleneck. Are you surprised? Because you shouldn't be. I have similar dresses in many different colors. I have a navy blue one. I have a ivory one. I have a black one. I love sweater dresses. This one has a tie waist, but you could also wear it loose. It's very comfortable. And I can't finish off the dresses without showing a t-shirt dress. Again, it may seem a little too casual, but t-shirt dresses are so comfortable. I love them and you can always pair it with a blazer or with a fun cardigan like the one I'm wearing in this video. You could also pair it with a long line cardigan similar to the gray one I wore before. So I'm going to give you a couple of options of pants that aren't trousers that you can wear at home. I love these ones that I got from Uniqlo. They're a wide leg jersey pant. They're super comfy and they're stretchy at the back. So ugh, perfect for sitting all day. And I paired it with the cozy soft sweater. And then here's another way to wear it. It's the same wide leg pant, but I've tucked in a button up short sleeve top. This is actually also from Uniqlo. <laughs> and it's comfortable, it's breathable. So I love wearing more loose fitted 
tops when I'm working from home and it still looks very put together. Here's another comfy pant option, pull on pants. I have two pairs of these from New York and Company. This pair is a straight leg pant and guys, honestly, it's just a step above leggings. They're ridiculously comfortable and I've paired this with the same button up short sleeve top, but this time I'm wearing it untucked for a more relaxed look. And here's another look with the same pull on pants. This time, <laughs> surprise, it's a turtleneck. I can't, uh, what can I say? I have a particular style that I love, guys. Deal with it. And again, you could always throw on a blazer and you are ready for your meeting. And again, if this pattern's too bold for you, you can always wear just a plain top. Ooh, look at that vest. Yes. I'm all about vests this fall. I am in love with oversized vests, and I think this look is a great way to wear leggings while still looking very posh. So I, I paired it with a white turtleneck and just some simple black leggings. Very comfortable and yet very chic. This look is a little bit more basic, but still looks put together when you're on a video conference, but it's still comfortable. So it's a long line button up top, semi sheer with black leggings. Again, this one's comfy, a lot less restrictive. And if you're looking for something a little bit more casual, then you can pair your black leggings with a black crop top and then throw on a long line button up cardigan on top. Still comfortable, but it looks a little bit more elevated than just wearing leggings and a t-shirt. On to the last outfit. So I paired the same black leggings with a loose comfy sweater in a bright color. I chose a cobalt blue just to add a pop of color to my outfit. You could also pair it with a more neutral colored or even a patterned sweater. This is very cozy, especially for when the temperatures start dropping. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and now you can also enjoy uh, one of my cats bathing himself. <laughs> so I also want to encourage you guys to mix and match some of the stuff that I showed today. So you can throw on a blazer on top of pretty much most of the outfits that I wore today. If you want to play around with colors and patterns, Yes, do that too. I tried to keep it neutral for most of my outfits today, but say you love bold patterns and bright colors, you can always switch out, say like a plain button up, short sleeved uh, black top, like one of the ones that I wore today and switch it with a patterned one and pair that with black leggings or with wide leg pants. Play around, have fun. Fashion is about enjoying yourself and feeling good in what you wear. So even during these crazy times while we're working from home, I've noticed that I feel a lot better and a lot more confident in myself when I'm wearing something I love, even if I'm working from home and no one else is really seeing me. So stay safe, guys. I love you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like, I really appreciate it. <laughs> There's more videos that you can watch as well. So take a look. I post fashion tips as well as self-love tips. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.